Hi, it's me again. Some of you may have been following along as I've been doing some DIY around the house. And um, most of you know, I can't leave well enough alone. So I'm going to paint on my shower curtain. Yep, you heard me right. I'm going to paint on the shower curtain. I love the looks of the bathroom so far. But I'm really not digging the shower curtain. I love the stripes. But as you can see, it's kind of plain, and it looks like a bumblebee, though I do love bees, and I love stripes. With my color theme, it just wasn't, mm, I'm, I'm just not digging it. So, there's the towels, and the picture that I painted, and a little upholstery post that I had found and I put the little finial in and this box that I painted to match with the candlesticks that I made with some wooden candlesticks and some globes off an old ceiling fan that we took out and I repurposed this flower this metal flower it was painted like a sunflower and I wanted it to match the bathroom the gray white black and yellow theme so, back to the shower curtain. It's just not jiving. So, I'm going to be back and I'm going to show you the progress as I'm painting it. So, I'll see you soon. Hi, I'm back. Ready to get started. I know you can't see the whole shower curtain, but you will see some of it as I'm painting it. And you will get to see the finished product after it's all done and finished. Um, I'm leaving it up on the rod. I'm just too lazy to take it down. But it's also a great way to um, paint it without having to lay it on the floor. And then I can see the perspective a little bit better also. So, here we go. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but um, you'll be surprised. I'm using my feet to hold the bottom of it against this, the uh, tub. And let's start about right here. Kind of scary, huh? Not for me. There's a saying around here that don't stand too still when you're here because she might just throw some paint on you. I mean, after all, it is just fabric. It's not life or death. I know some of you are holding your breath. Not me. I love it. I love a challenge. Why not? You only go around once, right? If I don't like it, I'll just get a new shower curtain. But I have a feeling I'm going to love this. Okay, let's see. You can probably start guessing what this is already. I'm just going to paint a silhouette um, of what I want. And I have actually seen this in wall vinyl, which I thought about doing that too, but I didn't know if it would stick to the fabric. So we're just going to paint on it. I'm just using a regular acrylic paint and it will stay on the fabric even after I wash it. Um, acrylic paint has a plasticine in it, meaning it uh, has sort of a plastic polymer and um, it will kind of uh, almost be like a vinyl. 
You can actually heat set it on the, the reverse side if you want to. I don't think I will be doing that because I don't wash the shower curtain every day. Like most of you, we don't wash our shower curtains every day. I hope you can see this. Let me adjust the camera so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. Can you see that now? Are some of you guessing already what it is? Well, I'm sure some of you already know what it is. I just didn't know if I could stand the bumblebee theme that was starting to develop. Though I do love bees, that wasn't what I was going for. Let me see. I think I've got all the little things that I want. I mean, this is just going to be a silhouette, so I don't have to take any great pains to make it perfect. Are you starting to see it now? Yep, it's a dandelion. I'm loving it already. Very simple, as you see, that this there's really not a lot that you have to do to make a silhouette of a dandelion. You just make a center point at the end of your stem and just shoot out from the center and randomly place, don't forget to do short ones, randomly place um, the little dots at the end and so it doesn't look one side and we've got to place a few like there on this side. What do you think so far? I love it. Now I'm going to make the ones that have flown away off the dandelion. You know there's always a few that get away from you. Even if when you pick the dandelion they just kind of seem to want to fly away to start their own little dandelion colony. I'm using a fairly stiff brush. Um, if I didn't I wouldn't be able to kind of push the paint into the fabric like I'm doing. So it's it's pretty stiff. You can find different stiffness of brushes and um, things like that at the uh, art store or anywhere you want to look you can find them. I know you probably can't see me now but you can hear me. I'm just putting one like it's flying away over here. Let me step back and look at it. I need to put one at the top. I'll bring the camera back when I'm done and you can see the whole curtain as it will look all the time hanging up. And I think I'm about done. Now, how quick was that? I have an awesome shower curtain, an original shower curtain, and it took minutes. Really, just minutes to make. And put some lighter lines in there. It looks that way they look they're behind there. You just kind of go from the center and trail off. Don't don't try to make them exact because I've never seen an exact dandelion. And the lighter ones will look like they're behind 
these. Okay, I think I'm done. So what do you think? An original shower curtain that I created by myself within minutes. I love it. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.